Hi everyone, this is Techzilla. I'm back again with another quick video and today I'm unboxing an exclusive Huawei Mate 20 Lite. Shout out to Huawei for sending this out to me. I got my hands on on this phone at IFA in Berlin last week. It is a pretty good device if you ask me. And I'll tell you why shortly. But this is literally just turned up on my doorstep. I've taken it out of the packaging and I'm gonna open it right now in front of you guys. Let's just show you the packaging. Now this is a review unit. It's not for sale, this one. Um, I've got the sapphire blue version. It comes in black or sapphire blue in the UK. It's £379 from Carphone Warehouse. And I also believe EE are going to be having this phone as well. I think if you pick it up from Carphone Warehouse, you get some free headphones with it as well. So let's take this out of the box. A black box. I like the way they've done it in the gold. Classic gold Huawei colouring there. Now. I saw the gold version of this phone and the black version when I was in Ether in Berlin. We're not getting the gold in the UK, but I'm glad I got sent out this blue color. Look at that. This has got this strip here. Let me take this off. Let me take this off. Look at that. It's sticking to my hand like crazy. But look at that color that is beautiful all glass back and you see this little strip here around the cameras do you know what that reminds me of that reminds me of the porsche edition phones that um, huawei put out there you know the porsche editions look at that color they have that kind of similar strip there so you could call this a baby porsche huawei device now let's switch this on Oh, pressing the volume rockers. Sorry, guys, I'm getting light everywhere. Let's put this to one side and show you what else is in the box. Now, let's open this up. This is all new to me. I, you get a screen protector in there. Now, this will probably be pre-applied to your device because this is a review unit. It's, I don't know. I don't know. You've got a SIM ejection tool in there as well. In here, show you that real quick. You can see that there. Let's put that to the side. Now, because this one, it's a quick charge power brick. So the output is five volts at two amps or nine volts at two amps. So Huawei power brick. Of course, this is the European model, so it's just one of those things. You've got the USB Type-C charging cable. And you get a pair of headphones with it. The 3.5mm headphone jack, which is a nice addition in this day and age. So have a quick close look at those. It's okay. For a phone... This is a sort of a mid, lower mid tier priced device. So let's move this all out of the way. And let's bring this in now. So I'm gonna set this up in front of you guys so we can get into it a bit further. Let me skip that. Oh, do, 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 do. Let me just put in my details here real quick. I'm still here guys, just don't worry. I'm just trying to put in my Wi-Fi password. Let's go to next. Now, while we're doing this, let me give you some specs about this device. Now, I've already given you the price. Now, dimensions, it's 158.3 by 75.3 and it's 7.6 millimeters in thickness. So it's a pretty large phone, okay? Pretty large phone. Let me skip this. Skip. I won't get into all this right now. Let's just agree with that. Skip, skip, skip. Yep, skip it. So let's 
device protection set face unlock okay let me put it a pin right now here at the bottom it says here enable pickup to wake device to enhance the face unlock experience which is what i'm going to do because i prefer that option so allow it now i'm going to try and do this from behind the camera wow that was quick face unlock is set set fingerprint id next enable Put the pin in again your fingerprint may be less secure than a complex pattern or strong pin okay we know that standard stuff so let's put my fingerprint finger on there well, that's done not bad at all enable services no thanks finish okay let's come out of that all set bang now we're in let me quickly go into system about phone so as you can see here it's a huawei mate 20 light that's the bill number c432 it's emui version 8.2 android version 8.1 it's a dual sim this particular model's got four gigabytes of ram it's got 64 gigs of built-in storage the screen is a 2340 by 1080p it's got on the android security patch first of july 2018 so there may be an update waiting so it gives you some sort of idea now let me come out of this let me just give you some specs real quick about this okay then we'll get into the settings and so on right it weighs 172 grams it's a glass front and back so it's quite a nice really finished well this the build of it's really nicely made look at that the back is beautiful you've got aluminium around the sides it feels like really it doesn't feel like anod anodized aluminium. It feels like a kind of a, it's got like a glossy finish to it. I don't know, is it aluminium? If it is aluminium. Yeah, glass. Oh, look, I'm already smudging this thing up. This is too beautiful to keep smudged up. Now in your version, you may get a case in the box. I don't know, this is a review unit. Um, now this is also a hybrid dual SIM. Now uh, where's my SIM ejector tool? I've got it here. We pop this out and let's have a look at this real quick. Show you guys. You asked for raw. I'm giving you guys raw. There we go. So I need to check this out. Hold on. So, what does that say? So you can take a micro SD card or you can take two SIM cards in there. So it is a hybrid SIM just like the, sorry guys, different phones are going off doing different things. So you can either have two SIMs or a SIM and a memory card right let's put this down like that let me lift it oh it's opened it's unlocked pretty quick unlocking ah oh, come on there we go let's try that again nice very quick very fast face unlock i haven't got the screen set up to full brightness yet because of the camera it will blur it out and wash it out as so it's hybrid dual sim it's an ips lcd capacitive touchscreen 16 million colors it's a 6.3 inch screen with a 81.7 percent body screen to body ratio 
It's a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio and it's 409 PPI density. It's, now this is running a Kirin, 9, uh, a Kirin 710 chipset. This is one of um, Huawei's latest chipsets. It's not one of their flagship chipsets. This is one of those um, mid-tier ones. So couple that with the 3,750 milliamp hour battery. This thing should give you phenomenal battery life all day, all day long. It should do, definitely. It's got a Mali G51 MP4 GPU. It's an octa-core CPU. It can take up to a 256 gig SD card in there. Now, the main cameras on the back You've got a 20 megapixel f1.8 PDAF sensor coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So that's a depth sensor. One of those is a depth sensor. The other one's the main 20 megapixel camera. So that's not bad. When you consider the price of this device, that's not bad at all. You've got an LED flash panorama. We'll look at the camera settings in a, in, in a little bit. Now the front, where the show is really where it really shows off is this notch here. It has got a notch, but there's dual cameras on the front. I mean, check that out. For that price, you're getting dual cameras right there. I'm trying to show them to you guys. So I've got Wi-Fi off, leave it off. Actually, I've got Wi-Fi on, what am I talking about? And now the dual front cameras, you've got a 24 megapixel camera. One of these is. And the other one's a two megapixel depth sensor again. HDR 1080p at 30 frames per second. Very impressive, very impressive. I'm not gonna go into too much more specs. Let's have a look around the device itself. Now at the top, you've got a microphone cut out. You've got your volume rocker and power button there. On the bottom, You've got a, now this is what something I really have to rate Huawei for. I really have to rate them for it. Even though this is a mid-tier device, they've gone with a USB Type-C port, which is thumbs up. They've kept the headphone jack, microphone cut out there, and a single bottom firing speaker. Now this is not a dual speaker device. It is a single speaker because I tested it when I was at IFA. So face recognition, we come out from behind the camera, is immensely quick. So in hand, it feels really nice. It, believe me, this phone does not, does not feel like the price it is. It feels a lot more expensive. I mean, look at that. Let me bring in my P20 Pro here, okay? Compare the sizes. Now I have got a case on the P20 Pro. This is actually slightly bigger. If you notice that, it's actually slightly bigger. It's thinner than the P20 Pro as well. And depth-wise, or width-wise, it's a little bit less width as well than the P20 Pro. Shockingly, pretty good. I say shockingly. I like Huawei devices, you guys know me. Now, as I said, it has got a notch. Let me try and turn the brightness up, hold on. Let me try and go into settings. Let's go into settings. So device connections, so you've got Bluetooth, NFC, which is, that's a win. The Poco phone doesn't have NFC. A lot of people go Poco, Poco, and it's buggy as hell, the Poco. Huawei Beam, Huawei Share, Mirror Share Printing. Uh, apps and notifications, so you've got your apps. I'm not gonna go into in too much depth. These are the apps that are preloaded on here. You saw I haven't loaded anything. So like Kingdoms, you can you can uninstall that mirror. If you don't use that, uninstall it. So there are some things here. That party mode is phenomenal. If a group of you have got Huawei devices, that's excellent. Because one of you plays a song, you can connect all your phones together to play the same song out of all the speakers. So it really like revs it up. Uh, default apps, app twin, it's got apps twin as well. So you can have two Facebooks, if you have two sims in here, two WhatsApps, etc. 
notifications and status turn on screen when notifications are received. I don't want that. Pulse notification light. So it has got an LED notification light in, in the front somewhere. I think it's in the grill. I think. Uh, display carrier name. Obviously, you know what that is. Uh, notification method icons, numbers or none. Let's go with icons. Uh, display network speed. Battery percentage. So if I go to inside battery, that probably makes more sense. I'm out of there. Now, as I said, this is a 3750 milliamp hour battery. S screen resolution. Now it's on smart, so it adjusts itself. Bring that a bit closer. It will adjust itself according to your usage, but it has got HD plus and it's got full HD plus at 1080p, which you can select. Uh, power saving mode, ultra usage, uh, ultra power saving mode, sorry. Uh, battery usage, optimized battery, we won't go into all that. And display. So now you've got color mode and temperature. So you've all seen this sort of stuff before. Home screen style. So I'll go with draw because I prefer it. I shouldn't have done that because it's taking me back out into here. Doesn't matter, let's go back in. Uh, wallpaper. So set wallpaper, let's see what wallpapers they've got on here. Let's go through them so you can get an idea of how they look. The screen looks, the screen does look like a really good screen. Honestly, guys, I'm not just saying that. It looks like a really nice screen. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it really is a quality 1080p panel. Anyway, let's come out of that. Uh, full screen display notch. So at the moment, you can see the notch there, the size of it. If I hit hide notch, it vanishes. And you can see the, let's show you now, the chin at the bottom. It's not huge. There's no fingerprint sensor on it. Like the P20 Pro has got a fingerprint sensor there and a much bigger chin to accommodate that. This has got a much, a much smaller chin than the P20 Pro. So let's leave it with the notch enabled because I don't mind the notch. Come out of that. Uh, view mode default text size screen resolution. We've seen that. Uh, sound. Let's check out sound real quick. So vibrate in silent mode. Do not disturb. Do you want to? Sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. Huawei Hisson sound effects. When you connect headphones, you get a whole plethora of different functions you can do there different equalizer modes and settings for your headphones storage now the box you get 64 gigs of built-in storage out of the box you've got 50.38 gigs if i uninstall the stuff that i don't want on here that came pre-installed that probably add another two or three gigs possibly so it's not bad of course you can use a memory card and i'm not going to go into the rest of this now because it I'll save that for review. But that, does this look like a, look at the greens. Colors are really, really immense colors on this. Really immense. Let's go into camera. Enable, allow, there we go. What's special about this camera, this whole phone is specialized, it's, Big features AI is AI all through this phone, all through it, especially in the camera settings. So we're in photo at the moment. So let's go into Z resolution 20 megapixels. You can do a raw format, only sport in pro mode, assistive grid, mirror reflection, mute, timer, audio control, touch, touch to capture, capture smiles, object tracking volume button function ultra snapshot so if I come out of there let's go into video let's come into here let's see what video now we can go up to full HD 1080p 60 frames per second uh, it doesn't support if I put it in just 1080p without the 60 frames per second it, you can get the stabilization object tracking and so on now I just want to check something 
Beauty mode, mode enabled, beauty mode disabled. Does that change that option? Oh, you've also got the higher efficiency storage mode here of H.265, which is that a lot of devices like you, you imagine your expensive flagships like your iPhone 10, uh, the Note 9, they all have this efficiency mode. It's usually reserved for the more expensive handsets, so this has actually got it. Come out of here. I'm not going to go into too much depth, guys, because I need to really test it out. Let me go portrait mode. Look like a gimboid. Uh, let's turn the camera around. Let me take a quick shot of myself. Turn it off. Okay. Look at that, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, I know I look rough. Allow it, allow it. I had a late night last night, but that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I did test the camera on this aperture AR lens. Oh, this is that new there, the 3D Q emoji. So if I'm talking to it, you can see me pretty good. It is pretty good. This is the chameleon one I'm doing now. Let's try a wolf. Not bad. Not saying I personally use, but not bad. Okay, not bad at all. Uh, let's have a look here. Setup isn't done. Transfer data, add Google account and more. I'll do that later. I'll do that later. But let's check out the fingerprint sensor. Oh, I've only done it with the right hand. So let's try that. Instant. Huawei make some of the fastest fingerprint sensors in the business. Look at that. And we'll try face unlock one more time. Bang, done. Excellent. Anyway, guys. That's a pretty long unboxing, but I wanted to get it out there quick because a lot of you out there are considering buying this device and there's not much out there about it. For me, I think this is a brilliant little phone. I th well, I say little, it's quite big. You know, it's a big old 6.3 inch screen, but it feels very, very premium. I mean, look at that. Look at the premium feel of that. As I said, baby Porsche phone. You have the expensive, Huawei devices, the Porsche label, this is almost like the baby Porsche. Really, I'm actually amazed at the quality of this device. I tell you, let me tell you something else. The way the screen, it, I don't know if you can pick that up. You see there, look how perfectly rounded that is. Look at the detail along the edge. You cannot feel any rough edges. It's all perfectly done. And there's a pretty good oleophobic coating on there. Look at that. Look at that. I've got really greasy hands and that is not picking up fingerprints. Anyway, anyway. Look at the back as well. That's hardly picked. I've been handling this phone for near enough 25 minutes now. And I can hardly see. There's one fingerprint down here. Surprising, that is surprising. Anyway guys, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Any questions, let me know in the comments again. Remember the drill, thumbs up, share this video on all your social media, helps me out, helps the channel grow. I will be doing many more videos about this device. I think really honest to God, hand on heart, this is a pretty decent device. Yes, I know, you're going to say, there's a camera bump, there's a camera bump. Everything's got a camera bump nowadays, look. Everything. Actually, yeah, let's do the Mate, no, the Mate, the Note 9 doesn't, but everything else has. But I think for the price, this is a phenomenal device on first impressions, okay? As I'll be doing, let me know what you want to know, what you want me to test. 
Okay, I'll do a camera. Do you, do you want me to compare it, the camera on this, to any other device? Uh, do you want me to try and compare it to the P20 Pro, perhaps? Maybe to an iPhone 10, maybe to a Note 9, maybe? I don't know, you tell me, guys. That blue is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of mesmerized by looking at the shimmer on this thing. Anyway, as I said, share it, like it, subscribe to the ch my channel, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss out any of my videos. And until next time, this is your boy Techzilla saying take care and peace.